Amen. If you look at it overall, today, Theresa May is trying to introduce in Parliament a new bill which would allow the government to snoop. It's called the Snoopers Charter in shorthand, which would mean that telecommunications companies, phone companies and internet companies will be forced by law to store all our online and phone records for a year and then the government will apply to access them to see what we've been up to. Now, the big debate is, she's saying now, well, a cabinet minister will ask for that access and then it'll have to be approved by specially trained or specially uh, chosen judges. But that, that means that the government, whether we agree with Snoop, uh, the Snoopers Charter or not, the government is taking seriously accessing our online records mm. because the only way to track these people ultimately is to access their behaviour and to look at their behaviour online yeah. and to look at what websites they're going to. And obviously they are all operating in that area of the web that is, you know, the dark web, you know, the, the place that most of us don't go to. Yeah. Mm. Um, comments on this already. Thank you very much. Sally says, if you can prove beyond any doubt that these are bad people, then do report it to the police. But it's the police who need to deal with it, not the public. And Julie says, I really can't condone what they do. Vigilantes only drive paedophiles underground, which is kind of what the, the chief constable was saying. And there. let's not forget, where in the past, when people have identified paedophiles wrongly yeah. and daubed all over their houses, yeah and driven them from their homes and one person turned out to be um, a paediatrician. Yes, do you remember that one? Yeah. yeah, I'll never forget that. So that, you know, tells you all you need to know about vigilante groups. Yeah, 